Hey, what's going on guys? Jolt here, back with another item guide, and today we're going to be going over the legendary Bird of Prey. To get this gun, you will need the Director's Cut DLC, and you can get this thing from the Fallen Heroes Fall card. You can see on the far right tab, you're going to have your Fallen Heroes Fall card, and up here is going to be the new items you can get. Basically, the way you earn these items is through getting XP, and once you get enough XP, you can go ahead and unlock a random reward. If you're lucky, you can roll the gun itself, or you will get keys. Down here, you can see we have 12 keys from, uh, you know, leveling up our vault card, and I can use those to unlock the Bird of Prey. Now, there is something odd about this, and the first one you roll is going to be non-anointed. But if you roll for a second one by spending another 5 keys, the second one's going to be anointed. For the stats on the card, this is your average slow fire rate Jacobs, so it's going to hit pretty hard, but be slow on everything else. Also, like most Jacobs, this gun only comes in non-elemental form, and for the red tags, someone's getting a treat. At the bottom, on hit, 33% chance to spawn a powerful projectile from above. As for the weapon skin, it's kind of a burgundy or a maroon color, and it does have a touch of gray in the middle. It doesn't look too bad. Like it says on the card, you have a chance for a bonus projectile, so let's see if we can get it. Did not get it. Come on. There it is. And yeah, you can see it's going to hit for 6 times damage. We're on max difficulty over on Athena's, and you can see the anoint we have for this is going to be the Urad anoint. So let's go ahead and proceed forward. Do some fade away. Get the shot. Did not get the bonus projectile there. Not there either. There it goes. And yeah, you can see when it hits, it's going to hit decently hard. I will say the sniper's not too bad for the regular mobbing, but it's not the craziest thing in the world. Now, Flat can get quite a bit out of this because of the skill Megavore. So if you do happen to get the bonus projectile, that thing can automatically crit. Also, with the overkill guiding rank perk, you can chain the one-shot kills. Um, just keep hitting crits so you can chain the overkill. We can see it's not bad for mobbing, so let's go ahead and take on the boss. We made our way to Grave Ward. Let's go ahead and do some fade away. Go for the chest. That first shot was really good because of the overkill guiding rank perk, but now you can see the damage is fairly average. All right, now we have a bunch of kill skills. Let's go ahead and uh, go for the eye. And again, it's still fairly average. Oh, I just fell off. <laughs> Well, the boss is dead. Cool. Anyways, final thoughts on the Bird of Prey. For mobbing, it's not too bad, and for bossing, it is sad. Now, if I wasn't doing Mayhem levels, this thing would actually be pretty awesome, but for max difficulty, it is fairly average. This gun just seems like a dumbed-down version of the Unseen Threat, and honestly, for it being such a grind to get it through the Vault card, I think it should do a little bit more damage. Overall, it's okay, but honestly, you do have some better options out there. If you're a Jacobs fan, I would say pick it up and do give it a try. It's still a lot of fun to mess with. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.